entrenched racial inequality remains a problem today. That is true for society writ large, for Harvard and UNC, two institutions with a history of racial exclusion. Ignoring race will not equalize a society that is racially unequal. What was true in the 1860s and again in 1954 is true today. Equality requires acknowledgement of inequality. And there is a biblical basis for this. Right? Not just from Nehemiah, which Dr. Cosby has talked about, but in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 through 19, the Apostle Paul discusses reconciliation and says that through the blood of Christ, God reconciled the sins of the world. Right? He went on in Luke, right, chapter 19. And we're talking about Zacchaeus. The only time he comes up in the Bible, by the way, Zacchaeus is up there in that tree and he looks at Christ and even though he has taken from people for too long, he comes down and he wants to be forgiven. And what does Jesus say? It doesn't say exactly this, but he says, you can't just say I'm sorry. You got to do something about it. You got to pay back. You've got to reconcile fourfold what you've taken, if I'm not mistaken, Dr. Cosby. In the first book of the Bible, in the first book of the Bible, we see in Genesis the twins, Jacob and Esau, right? And they fight and they fight and they fight. And there's a lot that goes on with those two. But then they come back together and they say, I'm sorry. But they didn't reconcile and they couldn't live together, right? When she says... Equality requires acknowledgement of inequality. We must reconcile. We must repair. When you look at the University of North Carolina, where only 8% of its students are black and 22% of the state of North Carolina is black, that is not equal. That is inequal. Right? When you look at what happened in states like California when they passed Proposition 209 that got rid of affirmative action, Ten years after that, in 2006, 4,852 students were admitted to the University of California, Los Angeles. Ninety-six were black. Ninety-six. In a state and a city as racially diverse as California and Los Angeles. So we have to take these steps. Because we've seen it, right? We saw that when we got rid of slavery, it was met with Jim Crow. When we got rid of, of uh, segregation in our schools, right? it was met with mass incarceration. It was met with different policies. And the, the fear of this is that this bleeds into other things. That this bleeds into other things. Which is why we have to stand up. Which is why we have to say what must be done and then we must do it. 